Okay, this is just a little demonstration of how to use Bootstrap. And a lot of the assignments I give you guys, I want you using Bootstrap to make your stuff look a little bit better. Basically, all Bootstrap is is a framework that applies a lot of styling, as well as CSS, to your web pages to make them look better. Since we are not really an HTML CSS class, we're more a PHP class, and we're not going to touch any CSS stuff, this is a good way just to make our stuff look good without having to do any of the work involved in actually doing it. And the way we do that is we use something called Bootstrap. And you can find Bootstrap at getbootstrap.com, right there in the web address. And when you go to the page here, you can click Getting Started. And just scroll down to where they have Starter Template. And this is what I always do. I just copy this right here. And that's going to start me off as a template. So I'm going to copy that and open up my editor. And I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call this index.html. Now, normally you would call your files .php. I'm not going to be putting this on any type of server. I'm just going to run it on my desktop, so I need to write HTML. So I do that, and then I go ahead and I paste it. And some of the information I don't need. So down here, all this uh, jQuery stuff and the, the JavaScript, don't need any of that, so I can get rid of that. And for my title here, I'm just going to call this uh, form test. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and save that. And I'm going to go back to my browser. I'll go here and I'll refresh the page. And you can see that I have this Hello World. Um, up here. Now that doesn't look all that fancy, but that's actually uh, Bootstrap's default font. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to do forms. And it's really nice just to go down under Components, Forms. And if you scroll down a little bit, most of the forms we're going to deal with are going to be something like here, with just some very simple text boxes and a submit button. And so I'm going to show you how to do this just to kind of get us started. And it's really simple to do. So I can go ahead and copy that. And I can go back into here. And the very first thing that I do is I create a little div element. I give it a class that equals container. That's a bootstrap class that allows us to center things on the page. I do want you to use that. And then inside of there, I'm going to go ahead and um, put my form in there. Okay. Now, there's some things that I don't need, and there's some things I'm going to want to change. So, for example, instead of having to say email address, I'm going to change this to first name. And the four is going to be F name. And then for the ID, I'll have F name as well. That is for accessibility, as uh, described in my book. The ARIA stuff and the placeholder, I don't need any of that. So I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of that. This little small part, I don't need any of that. And for type equals email, we're just going to do type equals text. Okay. And this is pretty much how we'll set up most of our, um, our form elements. And so if I just take this and copy this, and I don't really need any of this stuff up to the button, so I'm just going to paste that in there. I'll just change this to L name, change my first name to last name, and change this to L name. So I have two form uh, inputs right here and a button. Now I can just kind of set this up so it looks a little bit better. But this isn't really all that big of a deal. Okay, so now I've got this, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save that. I'll go back to the page I had, my test page, and when I refresh it, you can see it centered this form in the uh, browser window, and it made um, a nice, see, you know, have a kind of a rounded corner on that box right there. It just makes it look a lot better than the, the browser defaults. And of course, the submit button looks a lot better too. So that's where we're. This is why we're going to be using uh, Bootstrap, and I just want to kind of give you a little rundown on how you can uh, use Bootstrap to enhance your projects. That's it for this.